This 22-year-old's lifestyle will make you feel poor. Zion Williamson. What would you do if at the young age of 22, you earned $13 million this year and signed an extension for $193 million that kicks in the next year? If you're Zion Williamson, you don't have to imagine. That's why he signed his rookie extension with the New Orleans Pelicans. By the way, that $193 million is on the low end, as he could earn up to $231 million getting certain accolades. Zion was able to do this despite all the injuries and limited playtime. So, what does Zion spend all that money on? Fast cars, mansions, ice on his wrist, lavish vacations, or dating beautiful women? Why not all of the above? Stay tuned and watch the rest of this video to see what Zion Williamson spends his money on. Done, and on the spin and the reverse, the slam by Zion. Rookie Purchases Before Zion even stepped on the court and received an NBA check, he was seen as having acquired a taste for the finer things in life. During the draft in 2019, Zion had two items, which in total would probably cost more than many people make in a year. First was his custom white suit that many on the internet feel he copied from LeBron James when he was drafted. Or he probably felt like he was the next big thing in the NBA. With all the hype surrounding Zion, who could blame him for feeling this way? The second item was a bit more subtle, but the shine was hard to ignore once you saw it. On his left wrist was a gold and diamond Rolex. Can you guess the price? We'll give you a second. If you couldn't figure it out, the watch cost $120,000. Yeesh, imagine having something that expensive on your wrist. In the early days of his NBA career, Zion signed a ton of endorsements, and being drafted first overall comes with a more generous salary. He purchased a customized Jeep Wrangler worth at least $50,000, but not for himself. He was in a charitable mood, and the Jeep was given to his brother instead. He also purchased Greg Monroe's mansion, listed at $900,000. The mansion has five bedrooms, 5.5 bathrooms, and a painted mural of Batman. Wow! Some cities in certain parts of the world have houses half the size and no Batman mural for the same price. Absolutely ridiculous! The cars. Like most NBA players, Zion loves his cars. He's seen driving around in some of the finest vehicles out there. One of his first car purchases was a Ford Raptor at approximately $70,000, which he paid to refurbish. He made sure to have red leather seats, customized brakes, and black 22-inch rims. He also added his own finishing touches to the vehicle by adding smoke lights, an amazing sound system, and a ceiling with incorporated lights. All he needs is a bathroom, and he can live in the car if he wants to. Next is the Jaguar F-Type, which can go up to $75,000. Zion decided to get the red version, which looks slick on the roads. The car has a supercharged V8 engine, 444 horsepower, rear-wheel drive, and an 8-speed automatic transition. Apparently, Jaguar decided to make a limited number of these cars, and Zion got his name on the list to purchase one. What a lucky guy! Zion loves cars so much that he was able to get an endorsement deal with Mercedes-Benz. One of his favorite cars to drive is the Mercedes AMG G63 with 575 horsepower. He spent approximately $156,000 and it looks amazing. Another Mercedes car you can see Williamson in is the Mercedes AMG GT4 Coupe with an initial price of approximately $161,000. Safe to say, Mercedes is getting their money's worth endorsing Zion. Real Estate once he arrived in New Orleans, Zion set his eyes on a home he can be proud of. He settled in the beautiful Garden District known to have opulent mansions and beautiful oak-lined streets. The area is known to have celebrities like John Goodman and Sandra Bullock as its residents. Zion ended up buying a gorgeous two-story villa with a New Orleans style and some hints of Italian architecture sprinkled throughout the home. It also contains front and side galleries. Talk about space! This villa has some history behind it. Reports have stated that the house was built between 1860 to 1868. Even though it's such an old house, you can still see some of its original design and characteristics. The front of the house holds louved wood shutters to cover its segmental arched wood windows. The house covers 7,450 square feet of land with seven bedrooms and six bathrooms. Zion and his mom ended up purchasing this house for around $3.3 million. With all that history behind the villa, Zion better make sure to keep extra money for any potential ghosts that may be haunting the place. Avengers Assemble Zion's a big Avengers fan, but do you know which character he likes? 
better take note as this is the second question we asked you and there'll be a quiz at the end. Just kidding, we don't want to torture our viewers like that. But did you guess which character he liked? It's not even an Avenger. He's a big fan of Thanos. Ouch, who knew that Zion was actually a villain? Now, what sort of items would scream Thanos fan? First would be a thousand dollar Thanos inspired custom Jordan 34s. If you see pictures online, you can see it's purple with the infinity stones placed at key points of the shoes. But nothing will beat his love of Thanos with his next purchase. Zion ended up going to Zofrost, a famous jeweler for athletes. He then requested his own infinity gauntlet worth $50,000. The gauntlet features various jewels holding a golden basketball. Now all Zion needs are the real infinity stones and he can snap for an NBA championship. Clothing. We've gone over the clothes and jewelry Zion wears, but some of his more expensive pieces aren't even the customized items. You'll be shocked to know it's what he wore in basketball games that are worth thousands of dollars. When Zion was still playing for Duke, he wore the Nike PG 2.5 in a game against UNC. Some of you may have seen this already, but during the first 36 seconds of the game, Zion blew through those same shoes. Luckily, Zion wasn't hurt, but we can see why he decided to go with the Jordan brand instead, even though Nike owns them. In a surprise twist, sports auctioneer Ken Golden valued those same shoes at $250,000 during an interview with TMZ. Just imagine, these broken shoes that didn't last 36 seconds in a college game are worth more than what many people earn in a year. Funnily enough, those shoes have supposedly disappeared, as neither Nike, Coach K, or Zion know their whereabouts. I wouldn't be surprised if the ghosts from his New Orleans house had taken him. Back in 2020, Zion was finally able to play in his first NBA game. Too bad Zion couldn't snap away the COVID-19 pandemic before his debut. Anyway, the NBA knew this would be a historic moment, so they decided to have an auction for his debut jersey. Well, you know where this is going next. A few days later, when the jersey was auctioned online, over 100 people made a bid. The price tag in the end? $80,000 for a piece of history. Wow, some Zion fans look wealthier than Zion himself, helping others. All the jewels, cars, and clothes can only bring you so much happiness. As much as Zion likes to spend on his lavish lifestyle, he actively tries to help people in New Orleans. When he first debuted, shortly afterwards the COVID-19 pandemic happened. The entire world shut down, including many sports venues. Recognizing the amazing workers in the Smoothie King Center, Zion opened his wallet to help pay for their salary. He credited the workers and the city of New Orleans being so welcoming to him, especially since his debut took a bit longer than expected. While the pandemic was happening, many of the smaller businesses were suffering terribly. Zion then partnered with several non-governmental organizations, aka NGOs, to raise funds for local businesses. With all the money Zion raised, many of the local businesses within New Orleans were able to operate during the pandemic and weather some of the tough times. He's also recently hosted a One City event with the YMCA in New Orleans in order to curb the uptick in violence. The event was full of food and activities for the kids to enjoy. In Zion's own words, he just wants to be a pillar to the community. Who knew the big guy could have such a big heart? What a wholesome way to end the video.